five year old boy with autism is punished for hugging at East Ridge Elementary. School officials say he was stepping or overstepping boundaries. Good evening, I'm Joshua. And I'm Latricia Thomas. His family says he didn't know any better. News Channel 9's Abby Kirk is live outside East Ridge with this developing story. Abby. Yeah, Latricia, Josh, um, the five year old boy is a kindergartner here at East Ridge Elementary. The principal says that they've spoke several times with the boy. The guardian of the boy tells me that the school has now filed a report with the state. I was sick to my stomach because first of all, I didn't understand, you know, he's a five year old. He's a child. Summary Putnam says she received a call from her son's teacher at East Ridge Elementary about two weeks ago. The teacher called me and she said, you need to have a talk with Nathan about boundaries. Putnam's son, Nathan, is five years old. She says he has autism, making it difficult for him to understand social cues. If you don't understand how autism works, you think he's acting out or being defiant, but that's not the situation. Putnam says the teacher said Nathan was overstepping boundaries. She says the teacher accused her son of sexual activities after she was told he hugged a child and kissed another child on the cheek. He shouldn't be treated like this. Nathan's grandmother, Debbie Amick, took to Facebook asking, quote, what do you do when a five-year child is being labeled a sex predator and accused of sexual harassment by the school system? The kid don't even understand what sex is. Spokesperson Tim Hensley says according to school policy, school personnel are required to report concerns regarding children to DCS. It's up to DCS to determine if those reports are acted on by DCS and what form those actions may take. I talked to him, said you can't hug children. He said, why? I said, because, Nathan, it's not allowed. The family thinks the school is in the wrong. To bring something like this against a child, a special needs child that really doesn't understand what he's done wrong. Putnam says since then her son has uh, moved to a different classroom with a different teacher and is uh, receiving special educational services. Reporting live in East Ridge, I'm Abby Kirk, News Channel 9. Thank you, Abby. We reached out to the Department of Children's Services to get clarification on this. We have not gotten any details from them.